So my name is Caroline Langendijk. I'm from the Netherlands, and I'm really excited to be part of this uh, Tone with Amp Life with Artists event. Um, it's a weekly thing, so be sure to come back next week and see who is playing next. Um, I'm going to be playing mostly um, original compositions and two arrangements that I did. And the first piece is called December, which is a bit older piece of mine. Um, the tabs are on my website. You can also find that in the description. And of course, we are here today to show this amazing device. The Tone with M. I really love um, how it brings my playing just to a next level. It's like, you know, usually I grab my guitar and I start composing, but without being connected to an amp, it can sometimes feel a bit empty, you know, if you're just in a dry room. And with the tone of the amp, it's just instant inspiration. It's really crazy, so I love to just compose and practice with it. And for this song, I'm using the room effect. Yeah. I hope you can hear it properly. So here is December.
Thank you so much. That was December, um, one of my original songs. Mm, there are quite a lot of comments already. say the audio is really low yeah unfortunately I cannot really change anything um, I'm just using my phone um, and this is purely acoustically so it's only my guitar and the reverb is coming from the tone amp itself I'm not using any amp to amplify the sound like this is really how it sounds for me Next song is going to be a little bit more up tempo, so also definitely will be louder. So this next song is called India, and um, that's also uh, a song that I wrote myself which I wrote when I was traveling through India. I uh, really love to travel. Unfortunately, now we cannot really just travel every year because of the COVID-19 virus. Um, but I would like to know, where are you from? Please let me know in the comments. Um, where are you living now or where were you born? And for this, for this song, India, I'm using the same room effect on my tone M. Um, and a little bit special thing about this song is that there are a lot of um, strange rhythms going on. Like in the West, we usually have uh, music that's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, but when I was in India, I heard so many different rhythms and different um, really interesting rhythmical patterns um, so I tried to implement that in a song but still make it sound okay not too difficult sounding um, so for example there's uh, seven eight in here so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven um, and also some other so I'm really curious if you can hear and uh, if you can find out where they are um, so yeah, here's India.
also march that was India. Someone from the Netherlands. Nice. Cool. It's really nice you're all here. If you have any questions um, about anything, just let me know. Questions about the Tonewood Amp um, will be answered by some people from Tonewood Amp who are now alive. Well, what part of Holland I'm from? Um, I am originally from uh, actually very close to the sea, so it's north from Amsterdam from a small town and then I started studying in Utrecht which is more in the middle of the Netherlands uh, which was a big city then I moved to Germany for four years uh, to Dresden I see Bernd Buckman is here nice that you're tuning in I lived in Germany for four years and then I moved back um, to the Netherlands. Again to a small town close to the sea, close to the beach. tune is um, one of my newest uh, songs actually that I wrote. I only recently found a good fitting title and so I decided to call it Atlas. And this song is actually in, um, in quite interesting tuning so it is C, G and then standard so D, G. E. And that means that the upper four strings are like how a cello is tuned. So that really gives interesting um, depth to the bass. And for this song I would use um, the plate reverb. You hear that? I hope you can hear it. Um, I know the, the, the sound is a little bit low, unfortunately I cannot do anything about it right now. Um, I will just try to play as um, loud as possible. And uh, you could put on some head headphones, that will also help for sure. more time asks I replace the distortion with the chorus um, actually I usually only use the, the reverb things um, I think they just fit the best with my songs um, I know there is a distortion one on there but um, yeah it might be worth it to switch it with the chorus I actually didn't know that was possible so thanks for the tip First play this song and then come back to a few more questions. So here is Atlas. Thank you. 
guys <laughs> my hair is like also playing <laughs> oh yeah here's one question about my baritone um, yes my baritone also has an x-brace so I can actually switch the the tone it up, I can take it off from here and put it on my baritone and it also sounds really amazing. Um, it's really nice that you can just use one device on multiple guitars. And um, 
Yeah, actually, I would have loved to play my baritone as well today, uh, but I'm currently not at home. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, I only have this guitar. But that's okay, because I can play all my pieces also on this one. It's just a little bit of tuning every now and then. Oh yeah, so um, one of my uh, most latest uh, musical projects is a duo with Ladislav Pasdera. He is from Czech Republic and we studied together in Dresden, in Germany, um, where I was for four years. And I studied the guitar masters over there, which was really nice. And so much inspiration with great teachers. Um, maybe you know them, Renko Dirks, Thomas Fellow, Stefan Bormann and Nora Buschmann. If you don't know them, please check them out because they're really inspiring. Um, and actually last December we released an album together, Ladislav and me, which is called Miraki. And you can also find that on our uh, both our websites, my websites in the description. Um, you can find uh, my album there, but also my older EP, which is called Luna. And tabs for a few of the pieces that I'm playing today. So if you're a guitarist yourself, um, maybe you're interested. So that is my latest uh, musical project. We actually had a tour planned uh, last May, but unfortunately we couldn't continue with that because of COVID. And um, the next song I actually recently recorded a video clip from. And that one was shot in Japan when I was playing there with Okapi. If you don't know Okapi, check him out because he is an amazingly um, good guitarist as well. So we shot a video clip um, at Mount Fuji, so that's like the huge mountain that um, sort of stands for Japan. We were on this lake and I was sitting in a boat and the um, videographer was also on this moving platform. It was really difficult to get like all the shots we wanted, we only had like one and a half hours, but somehow we got it together. And like, imagine playing guitar in a moving boat. And yeah, it was really insane. Uh, but definitely a nice experience and also a nice video it became in the end. So if you're interested to see that, um, you can find that on my Facebook page or on YouTube if you search for my name. And the song is called The Golden Hour. And I actually wrote this song inspired on my favorite time of the day. Because during the golden hour, it's like um, maybe one hour before sunset. And that's the time when all the photographers go out and they um, they go and shoot some photos because that's like the time of the day that everything just looks so magical and I always like to go out and just walk around or something during that time because it's like you know, normally during the day if you go out and you see a flower or something, you probably wouldn't even notice it, but I feel like during the golden hour, suddenly that simple flower will look so beautiful, like because
because of the light shining from the side and it has like this really long shadow and somehow everything just looks more special. So this song is inspired on that. And this is also with a plate reverb, by the way. So you get like, yeah, I think I like to play all my ballads um, with the plate reverb because it gets like this really long reverb and yeah, the notes just sound even longer. So it's great for that. The golden hour.
I see there's one more question. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I have the tone that I'm not in the middle but on the side. Um, that was basically the only way I could get both of them on. It's quite heavy now <laughs> if you pick up my guitar. Um, but I don't, uh, like, I tried it in the middle, but I don't think it sounds any different if it's on the side. Um, yeah, I don't know if there is any. Yeah, I, I think it sounds very different on different areas on any guitar. And um, yeah, so it will anyway, if you have it in the middle or a little bit to, to the side, it changes. Um, and also, it really depends if you have certain uh, piezos or braces in your guitar. Like, I have this microphone. Um, which is like going from here all the way to the back. So anyway, I didn't have too much space to put the X brace in. So everything together, this was just the best possibility to uh, to have the tone without. And it still sounds really amazing. So yeah. Yeah. Someone says um, it played reverb. Sounds really good. Yeah, I really love it myself as well. I think the, the plate reverb is just my favorite from all of them. Um, but for this next song, I'm going to use the hall, which I like the hall um, for more faster songs. Yeah. Acoustic nylon with the tongue with amp. Cool. An eight string guitar would be definitely is definitely on my list for a guitar I would want one day. For now I'm gonna play um, an arrangement that probably some of you will know. And this is uh, this tuning is just standard, but then with the low C. And um, this song is actually a piano piece by Chick Corea. It's called Armando's Rumba, and I try to arrange, like rearrange it from piano onto a guitar. It was quite tricky. It is still quite tricky to play. Um, but it's still nice. I mean, I like playing uh, original songs a lot. And I like composing. Like, um, most of the time I don't really practice guitar, but I just compose new things and if I feel like it, the composition needs something that I cannot play yet, then I will just focus on practicing things in that uh, pattern or scale or whatever it is. Um, and if I really want to practice something, then I usually make an arrangement and like really focus on practicing that or like a difficult line that I hear on the piano, I try to um, like rearrange that line and make it possible on the guitar. So okay, so here is Armando's Roomba by Chick Corea, my arrangement. Enjoy.
to play for you today. If you want to hear more of my music, um, you can find it on YouTube, my Facebook page, um, Spotify, iTunes, and you can buy physical CDs on my website. So this next song is another ballad, so we're going back to the plate reverb. Yeah. And this song is called Infinite Blue. And I wrote this inspired on the experience of scuba diving. And for me that was just a very a magical experience to go all the way deep down in the sea and then the only thing that you hear is your own heartbeat and your own breath and the rest is just complete silence and you know this combination between the beauty of seeing all these these crazy fish and whatever that you've never seen before and just the, that it's a bit scary uh, like that combination because I mean it was definitely scary because you have to like, dive super deep and if something goes wrong you will maybe die or I don't know. <laughs> um, so like that combination was really interesting. Um, and so I tried to write a piece that gives that feeling, hopefully, when you listen to it. And I tried to work with, um, you know, the, the dissonance. Um, so it is like a ballad, as if you're sort of floating in the sea, and that it has these sort of dissonant notes that should be the, the scariness or the fear that you have when you're floating all the way down there. So Infinite Blue, this one is also on Spotify and on the newest duo album with Larislav Pazdera. Yes, I am from the Netherlands, somebody asks. Mm. 
Where are you from? Please let me know. I'm curious. So this is Infinite Bloom. song going back to the hall river which means it's gonna be an up tempo fast song let's see where you're all from Ohio Southern Vermont North Carolina. Well, a lot of people from the USA. It's nice. that I did it's already pretty old and I guess some people who are listening now I recognize some names mm -hmm. um, you must know this song um, or this arrangement mm -hmm. and yeah thank you so much for listening today for uh, 
coming. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I hope one day um, there will be more live concerts again and maybe we can see each other in person. listening today um, if you want to support me you can donate on my paypal um, in the description link and um, yeah i hope until next time thank you so much